Hello, all you beautiful people out there in Turtle Island. My name is Abigail Michelle Twyman, also known as Abby, Babs, and Mr. the Mysterious Elf. My husband, an incredible human with whom I choose to grow old, is named Dustin, aka Zyrock, and we live here with our Ratcha Zeppelin in the homelands of the Tacticon. My mother was Helen Vera Shans, and my grandmother was Vera Eddie Shans. And she was originally from Oklahoma and Texas. And I don't know much of her story, but I do know that she was a Cherokee woman who married an Irish man. They owned farmland, raised five children in Eastern Washington, and she was excommunicated from the Catholic Church for getting a divorce. And also, on, her one, on the morning of her 100th birthday, she took a shot of whiskey. So here's to you, Grandma. This is for you. Hey Babs, I am so deeply, madly in love with you. It's time to show your true self. My name is Mistra the Mysterious Self. I've got a crew of tipsy unicorns and we're united with our thoughtful crack on. If you know what it means to FBT, then you must be ready to get tipsy. Come on, babe, it's time to act. We welcome you with open arms, and that's a fact. My life mission is to create a more just, equitable, and peaceful world through action. I am eternally grateful for every single person out there with whom I have had the honor of serving the community, both directly and indirectly. There are four people in this world for whom I owe the deepest debt of gratitude. Well, honestly, there are hundreds of people, I'm sure, but due to time restrictions and the platform on which I am talking to you today, I'll go ahead and restrain myself. Firstly, Tyra. Almost 10 years ago, you asked me to marry you, you know, in that platonic work-wife kind of way, and I said yes. You made me begin to see who I truly am deep down inside, and for that, I am eternally grateful. Then, there is Denisha. You shared your platform with me, and I was able to share my gifts with the world. You are a gift and I am forever grateful for you sharing your privilege with me and teaching me what it means to move beyond performative action and truly act in accordance with my deeply held values. Next is my girl, Cami. Well, not my girl, but she is definitely her own woman and showed me what it means to love myself for real. I am unequitable because of her. The self-love scientist. And last, but by no means least, Warner. You see me in ways I've never truly believed, like ever. <laughs> the affirmation you shared with me was like a salve for my, soul, for my soul, and I will tuck it inside my heart and carry it with me forever. I love you. I love each and every one of you from the depths of my heart. Thank you all for helping me find what I set out looking for five years ago. My ikigai, my reason for being. The reason is you. I found a reason for me to change who I used to be. A reason to start over new And the reason is you My whole life, I believed I was hated Like deep down to the depths of my soul That belief evoked a lot of suffering And the pain was hard to bear alone I choose to diffuse that held belief through this silly little ditty of a poem. I live resourcefully and sustainably. I embody peace, love, and joy. I effectively advocate for meaningful 
change and genuine heart connection. My name is Mistra, I know who I am. I am strong and self-assured, confident and motivated, happy, vibrant, and full of life. I totally love and accept myself. I am enough and all I can be. I would like for you to join me. Come on, babe, to clink it on e. That's where we'll be. As we, and by we, I mean me, prepare to close this little show, I would like to invite you to join me and the crew in January as we continue to take action for a peaceful world together with prowess in our radical learning community at our Alaskan oasis in Glinkit Ani. The behaviorist in me joins the humanist in you. The humanist in me sees the behaviorist in you. Gunalashish, hao a, toksem. Thank you, and I love you.